there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here today. We are talking about another one of Melody Cherie Stalkers, you guys. Uh, that is right, Letitia's mom, Phonics Unhooked. And if we want to keep it a buck and a step further, uh, she might be the reason um, in itself as to why Letitia and Mel will never be friends, you guys. Because her obsession with Melody Cherie Rogers, just like Stormy's mom, has a weird obsession with Melody Cherie Sheree Rogers before she even got on the show is completely and utterly detrimental and, and despicable if you ask me right so so what has happened now why is phonics unhooked being discussed in the blogs right because she can't stay off the internet she can't stay off these lives um i don't know if she thinks if she's entertaining enough that carlos king is going to hit her up and be like hey uh we need you back on the show no 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 if, if it was meant to happen it would have happened you guys but uh they know that the melometers and the mel supporters uh stand on business and will stand on another petition to get you fired again so nonetheless she is reacting to mel's impact and basically mel's karma like we need to call it for what it is mel's karma you are obsessed with mel you've got mel's name in your mouth you are following all of these accounts all of these platforms under alias usernames instead of saying it with your chest under your real names all the smoke and all this trash you want to talk about people and phonics unhooked is like you know what I'm not going to mess with Mel because I might end up arrested or I might end up da da da. And Mel is so rich and da da da. And I'm thinking to myself, you were the first casualty of messing with Mel besides Martel, right? But you were the first casualty in terms of the actual show of losing your job. You and Destiny are casualties of messing with Mel. And effing around and finding out. You had a petition of thousands of signatures. Mel is the reason that they had to have a come to Jesus meeting. And they all had to fly down to Huntsville, Alabama to figure out how the cast was going to get along. So, so please miss me with, oh, I'm afraid of Mel. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You like to taunt Mel. You like to gaslight Mel. You want Mel to respond to you so bad. You want Mel to give you attention so bad, and she pays you dust. She specifically said, she specifically calls you Phonics Unhooked because the Hooked on Phonics is not working for you. And she can't translate what the things you be talking about and saying. So, so therefore, it's unnecessary to even acknowledge you, right? But if you really didn't want to mess with Mel, Phonics Unhooked, you would not have Mel's name in your mouth every single day and twice on Sunday. You would not be discussing Mel every single day and twice on Sunday. You would not be going on live to specifically name Mel and name something in regards to Mel, whether it's in regards to another content creator, whether it's in regards to the show, whether it's in regards to the arrest, whether it's in regards to Martel or Side Chick or whoever, Mel, 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 Mel. That is all you guys talk about. You guys have nothing else to talk about. But then you want to get on here and, you know, try to come for other people unprovoked. Make it make sense. A and again, uh, please uh, thank you for confirming that you are also male identified, which I already knew. But yeah, uh, she specifically, Phonics Unhooked, only wanted to acknowledge, uh, you know, the male YouTubers, you guys, the black male YouTubers, right? The black male content creators. Now, now here's the thing. Um, for me, everybody, you know, you can listen to whoever you want to, right? I don't, you know, that's not what this is about. But I have a bigger issue of how hard black female content creators black female youtubers have to work to try to get subscribers to try to get interaction with people and on the flip side these male content creators all have hundreds and thousands of subscribers like that and they are dragging 
black women for filth and saying disgusting things about black women and, and um, you know, their reproductive system and all of these things. And the subscribers continue to rise. And it's like, if some of these people can just put the same energy into the black female content creators and support the black female content creators. But when you have people like Phonics on Hook, she didn't even acknowledge her best friend. Her female best friend that she's always on um, their platform for completely ignored her and ignored uh, the new uh, protege that is trying to uh, start beef with people to get people to go to their channel, right? She completely ignored those black female content creators and they go hard in the paint for her. And they brag about how they talk on the phone with her practically every single day and she did not acknowledge not one black female YouTuber. Make it make sense and you do all that caping for her just for her to pay you dust and ignore you The only black female she cares about is Melody Sheree Rogers because clearly she doesn't care about her daughter If she's exposing her daughter had a BBL and that it stinks <laughs> like, make, like what type of mother, right? Who does that? And you're talking about being scared of people, but you have no problem threatening people and threatening people to pull up and saying that you will K-I-L-L any melameter or mel supporter that comes down your way and that you have a big old yard at your house to dig graves for mel supporters and melameters that dare to come near you because you and your family have shotguns. That's what came out of your mouth. So no, I don't believe you're scared of Mel. You simply want Mel to respond to you so that you can have a back and forth, so that you can have more traction, so that you can get some of Mel's fan support, you guys. And that's what this is. And that's why the cast keeps talking about her, right? Because they're trying to copy her moves and it keeps flopping. They try to get her attention. She doesn't acknowledge them. She doesn't engage. And it bothers them. It presses them. So now they have moved on to the Mel supporters and the Melometers and, and trying to gaslight them and, you know, saying, hey, we don't care if you don't tune into the show. We don't need your support at our, you know, fake businesses for the show, right? Only for the ratings to be the lowest ever. Probably since the earlier seasons when the show was just getting put on the map. And that is what you guys get for daring Mel supporters and the Melometers to not tune into this foolery. That is not black excellence. But, um, you know, again, this notion that, you know, and, and the other piece too is this is the same person who has no problem attacking other people's children, which was also the catalyst as to why you're no longer on the show. For inciting violence, for talking terrible about comparing Mel's kid's hair to your grandchild's hair, and again, insinuating and implying from Martel's lie about Sugar Mama. Completely out of bounds, completely inappropriate. If you have an issue with Mel and you have an issue with her friendship with Letitia and how it crumbled, that's one thing. But inserting innocent children into this, name calling people, and completely coming for people who have nothing to do with any of this and starting stuff just to get a back and forth with somebody. Even Mama Man Van didn't want to deal with you because there was no way to have a classy conversation with you because you simply wanted to get Buck on camera. And Mama Van is not that about that life. She is about the classy life, the dignified life, and all of the things, right? But you don't know any of that. None of you know any of that knows what it means to be classy, to be dignified, to be sophisticated, to be intelligent, to have morals, to have values, to drag somebody without insulting them, right? Dragging the actual actions of their behavior, not resorting to name calling and cussing somebody out because you don't have anything valid to say about them that's a true insult. So you go for the jugular, but again, how can you insult anybody's looks? And, 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 and what about you? Are you perfection? Is what I want to know, right? But again, uh, something has to give you guys. Uh, because all this time, you're going back and forth every single day. 
always cussing out Mel, always, you know, pretending for five minutes if you see some Mel supporters in your chat, uh, pretending for like a couple seconds that, that you are, you know, you don't want any smoke with the Mel fans and the Mel meters and they got to run it up. And then when you're on another platform that you know doesn't like Mel, then she's every B and H and, and all of these cuss words and all of these things and you drag her and you act like people do not pay attention. People see everything that you guys do. And if you don't want anybody to see it, then get off the internet. And again, to the miserable pe people who are engaging in this and, and saying even more disgusting things on other platforms, it's the lowest of the low, right? Like if you're at the point where you cannot say something nice about somebody's kid, don't say anything at all. How about that? What did the kids do to you? What did any of these people do to you? What is Mel currently doing to Phonics Unhooked that she has this authority every single day to get on a live, to get on a YouTube live, and talk about Mel constantly? Get on other panels and other platforms who specifically do not like Mel and get on there and talk mess, whether it's in the chat or in the panel itself. Make it make sense. And who the heck is Sky Richie? <laughs> Can somebody let me know who Sky Richie is? Is that a new YouTuber? Who who is that? Is that like somebody DC's finest? Like I'm just trying to figure out who Sky Richie is. Make it make sense. <laughs> like like what is going on? Why do we have to keep doing this, you guys? It, it's so repetitive. But literally, like Will Smith says, keep uh, Mel's name out your mouth. <laughs> like, stop it. Like, I don't understand what's hard. I don't understand what's not computing. And, and you think it's funny uh, being arrested because obviously you have expertise in that area. So, so you have no problem uh, with, with that at all, right? You think it's a joke. And you said you are the jail. Make it make sense. What type of representative, if this was my mother or my grandmother, I would be so embarrassed and I would be so appalled because my mother and my grandmother would never, right? They absolutely would never, right? Saying that they are the jail. Are you kidding me? Who says stuff like that? Make it make sense. But again, uh, maybe I come from a world where, where people are not on the internet, right? And, and people actually interact with their actual families and, and, and all of the things, right? They're, they're not posted up on every single YouTuber's page to see whether or not something was said about them and then hide behind a burner account talking trash. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Say it with your chest, right? And how are you going to piggyback off of everyone else's beef? Because you're desperate to be in beef yourself. And nobody cares. Right? All of this tomfoolery. And it still will not get you back on the show. Make it make sense. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.